Thanks ladies, a whole lot on tap tonight as we do take a look into the women's gymnastics team's performance and have updates from weekend from this weekend with our whip around crew. But first, the women's basketball team came up short last night against Maryland in College Park. The number 17 Hawkeyes lost to the fifth ranked Terp Terrapins in a close 93 to 88 matchup. Although Iowa's shooting percentage was superior, the Terrapins dominated on the board. 12 more rebounds and 10 more free throws was the difference in this one, as it was just a one possession game with just a minute to play. The defeat snaps the Hawks' six game winning streak and hands them their second loss in this Big Ten season. Women's basketball wasn't the only Hawkeye team taking on Maryland, as the Jim Hawks faced the Terps at home on Friday night as well. The Hawks were looking for their first victory of the season and managed to finally come up with a win in photo finish fashion, beating Maryland by just four and a half tenths of a point. Daily Iowan TV sports reporter Taylor Bartz has more on how one senior helped the Hawks rally from behind to get the W. After Iowa's gymnastics team started out a little rocky against Maryland on Friday, trailing to the Terps after one event, the Jim Hawks had to look to their leaders to get them moving full speed ahead. It's no doubt that senior Sydney Hare has been the driving force behind Iowa gymnastics this season. And after an unexpected fall on her bar routine, everyone wondered if she would be able to pull it together and lead her team to their first W of the season. But for Hare, there was never any doubt. She knew how important this win was for her team, considering their 0-2 start so far this season. Despite the fall on bars, Hare traveled to the beam next, where she contributed to a team best score of 49.025, posting an individual score of 9.80. The Hawks were led in this event by junior Allie Glover. Glover posted a personal best score of 9.875 to win the event, and allowed the Hawkeyes to gain the lead over Maryland going into the floor event. It was on this next event that Hare really brought it home for the Hawks. She delivered her routine almost flawlessly, posting an individual score of 9.90, leading her team to an overall score of 48.975 on the event. The Hawkeyes left Carver happy at the end of the night. Along with Glover and Hare's individual wins, the team came out on top against Maryland, posting their best score of the season. Taylor Bartz, Daily Island TV Sports. We will now toss things over to our Whip Around crew, who has updates on how men's swimming, tennis, and track and field did over the weekend. The Iowa Hawkeye men's tennis team won 5-3 over the Yale Bulldogs this past weekend. Iowa's Matt Hagen and Dominic Patrick improved to 3-0 on the season in doubles matches. The Hawkeyes won two of three doubles matches on the day. The Hawkeyes saw success in singles matches going 4-2 on the day. The Hawkeyes will return to action this Friday as they host Marquette at the Hawkeye Tennis and Recreation Complex at 6 p.m. Now I'll toss it over to Alyssa Klosterman who has an update on Iowa swimming. Thanks, Mark. The 19th ranked men's swimming and diving team wrapped up a successful weekend with a sweep at the Shamrock Invitational. The Hawks posted wins over Notre Dame, Incarnate Word, and Missouri State. Roman Trusoff started the Hawkeyes off with a first place finish in the 200 breast, setting a new pool record. The Hawkeyes returned to action February 6 at 6 p.m. against Western Illinois and University of South Dakota here in Iowa City. Now I'll toss it over to Hannah for coverage on track and field. Thanks, Alyssa. The Iowa track and field team took on the UW Invitational this past weekend in Seattle, and for two seniors, Kevin Lewis and Ben Witt, the day of racing was extremely successful. Both Lewis and Witt broke personal and school records in the 3,000 meter race. Lewis crossed the finish line of the nearly two mile run in just seven minutes and 57 seconds, making him the fastest Hawkeye to ever run that distance. His time also ranks him 12th in the nation and first in the Big Ten. Witt finished the race just behind Lewis at eight minutes and 20 seconds. The Hawkeyes will be at Lincoln, Nebraska this weekend for the Husker Invitational. That's all we've got for the whip round today. Guys, back to you. Thanks for that, guys. Well, we're all out of time here in the sports studio. Selena and Megan, back to you.